Hey guys, my name is Jason. I'm the founder of Distress Loan Advisors. If you want to schedule time with me, there is a link in the notes below, um, or you can just go to jasontees.com and schedule some time. Today, I want to talk about your EIDL loan and um, your home. I get this question a lot, and so I figured I would answer it. So the big question is, will the SBA take my home if I don't pay back my EIDL loan? And the answer is, uh, it's highly unlikely in my opinion, and I'll explain why. Um, a lot of people will come to me and says, well, my house is pledged as collateral, so I'm concerned they're gonna take it. And I say to them, well, how do you know that your home is pledged as collateral? And they say, well, because I gave a personal guarantee, so therefore my home is pledged, and that is incorrect. Um, there is a distinction to be made between a personal guarantee, which is essentially saying, I agree to pay this loan back if the business can't pay, um, and pledging your home as collateral, which is them actually putting a mortgage or a deed of trust on your home. And those two things are not the same. So in other words, you can give a personal guarantee without pledging your home. Now, it is possible that you could pledge your home and give a guarantee, but with EIDL loans, they did not take residential properties, um, or I guess I should say not residential properties, primary residences as collateral. So the collateral cutoff was $500,000. If you borrowed more, more than that, they did say if there was real estate collateral available, they had to take it, but it really only applied to commercial real estate. So for that reason, uh, of all the consultations that I've done, more than a thousand, probably approaching 1,500 at this point, um, I have yet to see evidence that someone's personal residence has been pledged as an EIDL loan. And so that primarily is why it's highly unlikely that the SBA is going to pursue your home um, in order to recover the EIDL funds. Now, I will say, in theory, it is possible if you personally guaranteed a debt that they could go after the house, but at this point, it's, it's all in theory. So essentially, they would have to sue you, which as far as I know, they're not suing people, they're just putting people in treasury offset. So to me, even though it's a possibility, it's an unlikely scenario because I just haven't seen it. And I'm talking to a lot of people every week and I would think that I would hear from people if they're being sued, um, if they have judgments against them and then they're executing on those judgments by putting liens on homes, I would hear about that. I have not heard a single thing about that. So to wrap this up, um, is your home pledged as collateral for an EIDL loan? Probably not. Um, will the SBA pursue your home if you don't pay them? Right now, based on how they're handling things, it seems unlikely. Now, of course, it could change at any time. You did personally guarantee the debt if you borrowed in excess of $200,000. Um, so, you know, they could try to pursue your personal assets, but right now, I'm not seeing it. And so, you know, I, I think people's decision should be guided not only on hypothetically what could happen, but also what's happening in reality. Because I guess to put it in perspective, if there is a 0.00001% chance that they can come after your home, would that impact how you handle things? Probably. Contrast that with if there was a 99.9% .9 chance they come after your home, yeah, that would, you know, that would change how you handle things. So I guess. All this is to say, keep in mind, there is a difference between what could happen in theory and what we're seeing happen in practice. So the short answer to the question, will the SBA take my home is, it's not likely based on the current circumstances. So that's it, thanks for checking in. I will continue to update those um, right here on YouTube. So please subscribe, follow, like, I guess the algorithm you know, likes that when you guys do that. So, um, that's about it. If I hear any additional information from people about what's going on out there, I certainly will share it. Um, but really, there hasn't been a whole lot lately. You know, just same old, same old. Um, they did add the 75% um, deferment, a second one. So now you can have 10% six months, 10% six months, 50% six months, 75% six months, 75% six months. That's the only help that's available right now. So that's it. I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for checking in. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.